today we will see how to group consecutive days let's take the example of this table uh, where we have task id then start date and end date we will see the data so uh, we can see if the task id is unique and then start date and end date if you will see here we will have these three records as consecutive where we it is start from first to second and then second record starts from second to third and then third record start from third to fourth uh, now if you will see the next record uh, from fourth to fifth that is also consecutive because to start from 13 to 14 and then next record is from 14 to 15 uh, same way if you will come here uh, you will see these are not consecutive records because uh, here a sixth is starting from 28 to 29 but the next record is not starting from 29 to 30 so, Okay. Now, uh, what we'll trying to do is we'll trying to merge the record. Merge record means only try to find out the consecutive records. So for that, uh, first we'll ignore the uh, this group one group ID. Next later we'll take it the uh, that group ID into consideration. For that purpose, first what we'll do. Uh, when we will execute the query, we will try to uh, filter the group ID for for a second. Uh, okay. Now let's see uh, if we are trying to what we are trying to find. Okay. Select. Now uh, we will have end date. Then uh, what we will try to find is we we need something to group by for that purpose what we'll do uh, we will okay uh, so what we'll do so if you will uh, see the output for this is if you will see here what we got is uh, if you will see these three records uh, first we need to uh, as I told earlier we have to filter the uh, group id for a second until we start considering the group id Okay. so now if you will see uh, what we got is if you will see what these three records the this grouping column is same grouping value is same for all three records similarly for 13 14 the grouping value is same but for these grouping value is not same how it is working is uh, if you will see this again and if you will uh, write it separately what you will notice is we are getting getting the consecutive numbers okay so when the row is consecutive when you will and if you will subtract consecutive number from it you will get the same value that's what we are getting uh, for these records same value and not, and for these we are not getting the uh, means since there is difference here 29 is missing that's why we have a difference here in the grouping case now how we will utilize it now, uh, what we'll do what we need is start date min and next
from which way we want we need to do it from here now we have to do group by n Since this is a subquery, we have to. I'm sorry, uh, this failed because we did not get any value here. Now, if you will see here, uh, okay. since we did not get group by here, uh, group by we need to do on this one. So, if you will see, observe it, we, what we got is all four because all four groupings. Uh, uh, let's see the data again. Uh, so these four were first group, and then these two were group. Uh, if you see, uh, uh, this these were consecutive one. So from thirteen to fifteen, we got then. We got from first to uh, four here, and since these were uh, these were uh, not consecutive, we got it then as it is. Now uh, let's consider uh, it's the same thing with group uh, where we we also have to consider other columns apart from. Uh, just the eight columns now it works same way just uh, we what we'll do here is we'll have again row number but we'll we'll going to add the partition partition on which column we have to add partition on group by and then all all other tasks will going to be the same so if you see the output here uh, again uh, one uh, thing we missed here is even though we got the output what we missed here is uh, seeing the group id okay. You'll see here now. We have done a group by on this. See, even the group for uh, this record is two. The group ID is different because uh, this is not falling under. Uh, the, this is not. These two are not consecutive, uh, corresponding to group ID. Okay. Even the group ID is same. Now. Uh, we will going to use the same uh, technology, same uh, way. So we will we'll have group ID, then we will have min of, we will have start date, then we will have max of, not max of start date, we will use the end date. Okay. Uh, from where we need to do it? We need to now use this as a subquery. So again, what we have to do is we have to do group by on 
two columns now one is this group because we are doing on group id and we have to do one grouping date that we have uh, created it so if you will see now uh, we have got five one uh, first we got from 28 to 29 and then uh, if again let's see the data okay uh, let's order by that okay. mm. now if you will see here uh, what we got is first one for this if you see these three were consecutive what we got here is uh, we got from first to four uh, where is this one we got first to four uh, then if you will see the next record that is 13 to 15 and then uh, that group ID was 5 so here we have that record 13 to 15 if you will see the next one these two uh, if you will see here uh, what is the value is these are not consecutive so we have here that one 28th one 28th one and uh, that 30th one here now if you will see again here we have fourth one with same uh, date as the second group but since we have considered partition we are able to here also distinguish it into separate uh, group so uh, this is one way of uh, handling consecutive days uh, there is one more way where we how we can handle uh, these consecutive days just that will be even simpler now what all things we need uh, we need your group id we need group id then we need uh, these are the function for the period data type Uh, let's let me give it a uh, period a uh, uh, period example okay uh, then we name this will be start date then uh, end period from where we have to find it we will have one we'll do it using normalize function uh, normalize group id comma uh, then uh, what we'll try to do is we'll make it period column and we'll name it as this one since we have used it used it Uh, what is the table name? Mandega task. So now, if you see, we 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 got we got the same output. Uh, we got the same output as uh, this query. Uh, this group from first to fourth, and then from. 13 to uh, 30 to 31 then 4 for group id 4 1 to 4 similarly for 5 to 13 to 15 uh, that consecutive one and then uh, this one now if you will see the output for this normalize it is just simple uh, what it will do it will just merge the record and then uh, uh, what we will do in the main query is just will extract the value from uh, 
this is the data type and uh, show it hope this uh, helps in understanding some of the features uh, means this concept of finding consecutive days uh, thank you